Good evening from Universal City Walk. We're here because I'm gonna give you a walking tour of everything they have to offer here. I should specify this is in Universal Orlando City Walk. Now, just so you know, we're gonna, oh, look, fireworks. We're gonna start here at Universal Studios Florida because I'm staying at Hard Rock, which is down that path that way. You can also get to Portofino from there. Then over there, you have Islands of Adventure. And over that way to the left, you have where you enter from the parking structure. Uh, we're starting from here, but we're gonna go around this way towards Hard Rock and Tusum, and I'll point out everything along the way. The original Universal Globe that used to be here in this park is currently at Universal in Hollywood. I understand now that they are very different because this one is massive. Take a look at these handrails next to it. If you've ever seen my Universal videos or have been to Universal Hollywood, you will realize this is a massive globe. Directly to the left of Universal Studios, you have the Blue Man Group show, which is occupying the building of the formerly known Nickelodeon Studios. Here we go for the ultimate panoramic. And that right there is one of the boats to take you back to the resort. Next up, we have the Hard Rock Cafe. You have the shop, which is right there. And this is the world's largest one. It not only is a restaurant, but they actually have venues. And that's over here on this side. To the left of Hard Rock, you have my favorite place, an Olive City Walk, Tusum Chocolate Emporium. I remember when this used to be the NBA City restaurant. I'd say this is definitely a trade-up. Here's just a quick pan around inside the store at Two Sims. They have some really amazing things made out of chocolate. For example, these locks here and these keys. Let's take a moment to admire the Two Sim Christmas tree. Fantastic. Just a quick overview of the second floor of Tusum's, you'll see Penelope Tusum and Jock the Robot with her right over there. And here's the story of Penelope Tusum. I'll go slow so I could pause it someday and actually read it. Back outside to the left of Tusum. You have the entrance to Islands of Adventure. And then there's a bridge, which leads to Margaritaville. So we're gonna pick up over there because there's nothing in between there, really. All right, we're over here at Margaritaville. Looks like a big crowd is leaving for some reason. And directly across, the reason I stopped here is because you have the Lone Palm uh, Outdoor Bar. This is actually Jimmy Buffett's plane. And it is out here at Margaritaville now. To the left of Margaritaville, I've always been a fan of this sign. It splits in two directions. This way takes you back to the parking garage and you have big fire here, but up this way you have Bob Marley's rising star, Pat O'Brien's Mini More, but we'll go up both ways. Let's start by going to the right. Because City Walk has more of a late night atmosphere, they do have a margarita walk up bar here which is just to the left of the Margaritaville store. Anya Hito's, which I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of, but enough people like it for them to have brought it out to California. And then next to that, you have The Groove, which is a late night dance club. You have Hot Dog Hall of Fame here, which is different hot dogs themed after different cities. Moving along next to The Groove, you have Fat Tuesdays, which you can get plenty of margaritas and stuff at, walk up and walk around with. Now we're gonna head this way, which takes us to Pat O'Brien's. This is like a dueling piano bar Irish restaurant, Rising Star. This is a karaoke like bar area. I've actually never been in there, so I don't know too much about it. However, we're gonna continue along this route. And next up we have what used to be my favorite until Tusum came along. Bob Marley's A Tribute to Freedom. We may actually stop in there here. 
What makes Bob Marley so great is it's actually modeled after his home in Jamaica. So you'll see they have like a living room. And the bar is the kitchen. Not to mention live music. That would be great in a song. We're now at the Red Coconut Club, but directly behind it, you have the Cowfish second floor, which has cornhole and other games. But take a look at the menu. They have some of the most unusual combinations I've seen. Things like American food mixed with Japanese food. Sushi on burgers, burgers and sushi. Everything I've had here has been very good though, I will say. Now here's the Red Coconut Club. This is the escalator to take you back down to the main floor because as we've came up this path, we've gone up to the, I guess you could say second floor of City Walk. There's the pathways to the parking structure. And now we'll check out all of these fast food restaurant options around the Cineplex. That's the bridge we were just standing on. You have the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. You see that alien robot over there? He's part of the Hollywood Drive-In Golf. And you check in down here on the first floor of City Walk. Now from here, you'll see the sushi bar, which is essentially just that, a sushi bar. Over on the left side, Moe's Southwest Grill, Panda Express, and they have a Burger King Whopper Bar, which the sign is covered. It's right over there. Basically, you can make a Whopper, however you want to make it, with all sorts of crazy toppings. But looking down on the first floor, this is the Universal Cineplex Movie Theater. Now we're going to head this way, which will decline us back to the first floor. You'll see the heaters are on because it is, believe it or not, a cold night here in Orlando. First place we have is Breadbox. I've never been in here, but I hear great things. It's essentially a sandwich shop. Here's a look at what they have. Now coming down this crazy swervy stairway, you have frozen yogurt to the left of bread box. And then you have the Hart and Huntington Tattoo Company, which also has merchandise as well. Now, as you come down that way, you have Voodoo Donuts. Always a very popular option here. And next to that, you have NBC Grill Brew, which leads back towards Universal, which is where we started. However, we're gonna turn around and go this way. You do have some little stops like any Ann's Pretzels and a bar right there. But we're gonna head back this way and check the rest of the first floor area. You have the Island Clothing Company, which, fun tip, is actually a really good shortcut to get around a lot of city walk. Then you have Peak, which has some really awesome artwork. Fresh Produce, which is a clothing store. Then you have Fossil. Across from Fossil, You'll see that is the staircase to get to the second floor, which is where we were earlier as we passed Red Coconut Club. Then you had Red Oven. There's a cold stone hiding back there. The Cowfish, which is the main entrance here, but you saw we could get from the back up there. And then Vivo, Italian Kitchen. And then over there is the Universal Store. You will then see the exit to the parking structure. However, on the left before you leave, you have a billabong advertisement here with a cool surfboard opportunity and a Cinnabon because what would City Walk be without a Cinnabon? And then lastly, moving towards Islands of Adventure, you'll see a better view of Vivo and Cowfish. These are some steps to get to the club area, the Universal Studio Store, and then Big Fire American Fair, which just recently opened here. All right, that is gonna do it from Universal Studios 
Florida City Walk walkthrough. Hopefully I did a good enough job explaining where things are. That is going to do it. So thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.